friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to sit here and talk to you about personal branding versus business brand. You are probably watching this video because you are starting a business or trying to grow a business and you are debating whether which area you should grow more on, on your personal brand or a company brand. And I would say this applies the most to someone who has a service-based business and you're just not sure of what to do. But before we get into like the pros and cons of personal branding, the most important step when it comes to deciding on which area to grow is to first identify the purpose of this business that you are trying to grow. Whether you are trying to grow this business because it's purely for monetary purpose, um, if you're just selling this product for the sake of growing it, for the sake of money, and it doesn't really tie that much into your personal values and your personal brand. Secondly, if this brand is something that you truly want to associate yourself with, for example, you want to sell menstrual cups, okay? That is something that's pretty off, but do you want to be known as the period girl? Because whatever you sell, naturally is going to tie yourself or the brand to that stuff. So for example, menstrual cup will go very hand in hand with period female stuff, you know? Or for example, if you're selling essential oils, that naturally will tie you into a brand that is very zen, very life focused, very relaxation focused. Thirdly, one very important thing that you need to know is how comfortable you are with being associated as a brand, as a person, and that, you know, when people think about this thing, they think about you. Is that something that you are comfortable with? So with that being said, let's get into personal branding. The main reason that a lot of people are considering to grow a personal brand is because people prefer to interact with human and therefore a personal brand that is very strong is able to connect with people in a very personal level so that they can relate better and it's easier to sell to them. There are facts and researches that shows that people actually react better to advertisements with humans face on it so that says a little bit about it. And as I mentioned in a previous video about how to build an authentic personal brand, I did also mention that people do connect better when you have a very relatable story when you mention in your brand and that they can truly feel that, you know, this is a brand that I trust, this is a person that I trust and that I am willing to buy their things. The thing about personal branding though is that it is something that you have to associate your personal brand to that whatever that you are selling and it's probably going to stick to you for the rest of time. One thing is that you definitely need proper management when it comes to whatever that you post on social media. So I foresee a lot of filtering before you post your things on the internet and also if should you choose to still post really personal things that you don't want to be known by the public then it's very likely that you have to create a very separate very private account for yourself you know before before pursuing like you know a personal brand there is also this blur line when it comes to whatever that you post in a personal brand. For example, that I'm a personal branding and a business coach, but sometimes I still like to post about my passion about avocados, you know? And there are blur lines when it comes to this because I feel like when I share about these things, it makes me very authentic and personal, but I need to make sure that I actually filter them properly so that I, the ratio of like the business things that I post is actually still more than this personal fun things. Um, so definitely this is something that you have to consider if you want to grow a personal brand. Many times when people think about personal branding, they think of a professional website with like, you know, the person's name, a portrait photo shoot photos, or like maybe YouTube videos about them talking, or you know, Facebook ads about this person walking, looking really successful. But the thing is, there's actually other ways that you can grow your personal brand. For example, you can actually write articles on LinkedIn to establish that you are an expert in certain field that you are associated with and another way to grow a personal brand is through email marketing where you grow yourself through a very 
powerful funnel. There are a lot of ways that you can grow a personal brand. It doesn't have to be face to face talking to the camera. Although I do have to say that when you talk to the camera, when you actually show up as yourself and you talk to your audience, it does have a very powerful strength. And that being said, I did make a video about overcoming social media anxiety, which I highly recommend you to check it out on this video up here that should help you to really grow your personal brand should you think of you know putting yourself really putting yourself out there as a person in photos or videos on social media i was doing a lot of research prior to making this video and i have to agree with gary v on what he said on his video which is personal brand is something that evolves with you for the rest of your life so whether or not you choose to grow a company brand for the business that you're doing right now personal brand is something that you should still work on whether or not it's your focus right now just because you never know like Gary V used to be that wine guy when he was trying to grow his dad's wine business but right now he has evolved to growing you know more so personal motivational stuff and all that on social media but that thing because that brand that personal brand of him was so strong that he was able to bring it forward and evolve together so whatever you're doing make sure that you do not neglect like your personal branding you might not need to put in so much effort in creating the content in your personal brand if should you choose to go with a company brand right but definitely don't neglect like it so that in the future whatever you choose to pursue it makes things way easier now if you want to grow a business brand i feel like there are also a lot of positive that comes with it first thing first is that when you are established as a business people find that it's more credible and i'm saying that from a personal experience because recently i've been seeing a lot of ads of people like you know walking around driving like a mercedes or a Ferrari and trying to establish himself as a really experienced or like a really powerful coach and I know these people they are very likely not the kind of expert that I was looking for and I find it really scammy and spammy I mean even as someone who is trying to grow a personal brand herself I have to say that there are times when a personal brand can go really wrong so I would feel like a business brand just seems more credible if you like brand yourself properly. And another good thing about you know a business brand is that should one day you choose to sell this business to someone else, it makes things so much easier. This is why I asked you earlier in this video whether that you want to grow this brand purely for monetary purposes you see if it doesn't really align with your personal value and you're doing this for money there's nothing wrong with it and if that's the case I would recommend you to grow with a business brand because you know if you've successfully grown it and you want to move on to something else it's much more easier to sell this business off to someone else like I said earlier, there are a lot of sacrifices that comes with a growing a personal brand like your privacy, like your personal life. So if you are someone that really truly are afraid of putting yourself out there or don't want to risk anything about your personal life, then grow a business brand. Although there, it might not be like a direct personal touch with your audience, you can definitely still make use of storytelling and other emotional approach to grow your business to get more relatable with your customers. Especially if it's a business that is a partnership, it just makes more sense to grow a business because if anything happens, should a partner decide to leave, it just makes things more easy to grow um, or move forward, you know, if things get messy. But like I said, the con is that business brands doesn't really evolve with you. So say one day your interest changed from selling menstrual cups to fishing rods, you know, the business is not flexible to shift with you, mainly because that the people has associated this brand, this is this brand as a female hygiene product rather than a fishing product. So in that case, it cannot evolve with you and the audience have to be grown again from scratch with the new idea. So that's the thing about business brand and personal brand. There are good things and bad things and it really depends on what you want to do with your brand, what's your true purpose, what exactly you want to do, and also what exactly you are comfortable to do. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's a short one, but 
I understand that there are some of you who are struggling with this decision and I hope that this video might be helpful for you. Be sure to give this a thumbs up if you do find it helpful and also make sure to subscribe if you want more girl boss, entrepreneurial or personal branding tips and definitely check these two videos out for more stuff that you are going to like. Okay, I will see you in my next video. Bye!